Hi folks, this is Bill from Lesson Picks, and I am delighted to announce our new Symbol Builder. Now what the Symbol Builder does is it allows you to combine our symbols in interesting ways. You might want to make plurals, you want, might want to make alternates, you want to make opposites, uh, large and small versions, lots of different reasons you might want to combine our symbols. Uh, we've heard all of them in your requests for a long time, and I am delighted to release this. Let's take a look at how to use the Symbol Builder in practice. You'll find the Symbol Builder on the Your Lesson Picks tab with the other ways to create custom symbols. You'll also see a shortcut in the menu bar with a little new symbol next to it. Clicking one of these links, you'll open the Symbol Builder page. Notice that the canvas in the middle is empty, but there are four tabs on the left that will let you add symbols to combine. You can search for a symbol by keyword, access common symbols that are useful in symbol construction, browse our categories, or access the symbols in your tray. Let's make a simple example that's good for working on plurals. We'll search for a picture of the dog and drag the yellow lab into the center. We can resize the dog and move it anywhere on the canvas. We can also rotate it and flip it horizontally or vertically. With the dog resized and positioned, we'll hit the duplicate button four times so we have a total of five dogs. Now we'll drag them to the spots we want on the symbol. We can enter information we like about the symbol to the right. The title is Five Dogs. We add two tags, Five and Dogs. These are how we'll be able to search for the symbol after we save it. The description is just informational, but we'll fill it in for completeness. When we hit Create Symbol, the system will build our symbol and take us to the Symbol Detail page. This is a normal symbol just like any other. We can add it to our tray and make materials with it. We can even export it. and It acts just like all of the original Lesson Pick symbols. Let's try another example. Click on the Symbol Builder to start a new symbol. Let's start with a symbol from our tray. I have a photograph of Allie that I've uploaded and put in the tray. Let's add that to the canvas and resize it to completely cover the symbol area. Because the stretch button is unchecked, the system will keep the photo's aspect ratio correct. Now the photo covers the entire area and we can add a thought bubble. Clicking on Common, you'll see Thought and Speech Bubbles at the bottom. We'll add a thought bubble and then duplicate it and resize it to make three. Let's add what she's thinking about. Maybe it's a job. To fit the picture in the bubble, we can turn on stretching so that it will fit perfectly. Another great way to annotate photos is to add parts from the potato game category. Maybe a mustache for Allie. Or maybe not. If at any point we make a mistake, we can hit the undo button to back up one change, or hit the X to remove an element. We'll add a title, keyword, and description, and click Create Symbol. This annotated photo works just like any of our other symbols. For our last example, let's look at a language and literacy idea. We'll make a series of cards to go with the riddle, Why Did the Chicken Cross the Road? Before we enter the symbol builder, let's make the word Y as a symbol and put it in the tray, since we'll use it as an element. Now we enter the symbol builder and get the basic elements that will be in all of the symbols. We'll position the road, the chicken, and the thought bubble. We'll also drag over the Y and resize it. We want it to stand out, so we'll put a white box behind it. The white circle and rectangle are hard to see in this video, but very handy for hiding parts of elements you don't want to see. We'll need to use the Move Forward and Backwards buttons to get our elements layered correctly. Next, we'll add a question mark from the Common tab and save the symbol with the title, Why Did the Chicken Cross the Road? Once we've saved that symbol, Let's just click the Back button to get back to the Symbol Builder. The tool is smart enough to recognize that you've just made a symbol and hit Back, so it assumes you'd like to keep going where you left off. Let's remove the question mark and add some other options. We'll add a worm and resize it. Changing the title and hitting Create Symbol, we've got a second card made. Let's hit Back and try again. 
This time, perhaps she misses her nest or her home on the farm. We can make as many of these as we need. All the symbols you make with the Symbol Builder are available on the Your Lesson Picks tab. You can even search for them by the tags you enter using our search box or even the Sound Finder and other search tools. Now, as you can see, this is a very powerful tool. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Unfortunately, there's going to be a little bit of a delay on your ability to share these materials in the Sharing Center. Uh, there's a lot of testing that goes into changes that we make to our privacy area, which is what this is about. Currently, private images, which are owned by you, are only visible to you. And this will require a change to that to treat these differently than photos you upload. We plan on making that change. We plan on making that in the very near future, but I did not want to hold up this release to wait for that change. So I look forward to that in the next month or so. I hope you have a great time with this new tool, and as always, good luck and have fun.